In journalism and academia, they say, publish or be damned. Well, imagine if your publisher refuses to release your book. It's the position University of Otago Emeritus Professor Jim Flynn is in after an English publisher has refused to release his book about free speech. Emerald Press scheduled it for publication, but has now decided not to proceed. I've got nothing against Emerald. I'm sure their lawyer said there will be some risk. But that just shows how bad those laws are. They, they should include incitement. They should ban incitement. The Emeritus Professor says Otago University has never tried to curtail his freedom of speech, despite the fact he's used to getting into trouble for speaking out, especially when he was working in America. But I was considered too friendly to blacks in the South, and I was considered a social democrat and therefore dangerous in the North, if you can imagine such a thing. So there are universities today who are just as intolerant as those universities were then. He says the freedom of speech argument can't be talked about if people aren't allowed to discuss free speech openly. Free speech will always hold the danger that some people will think the irrational side is one. Yeah. If you don't allow for that danger, there's no free speech at all. In the book, he discusses the opinions of Arthur Jensen, who he says he disagrees with, but he believes even quoting Jensen for the purpose of demolishing his arguments is one of the reasons the book was pulled. You know, when I state in my book that Arthur Jensen thinks blacks are genetically less uh, gifted for intelligence, yes. I state that and then I show all the arguments I have against it. Yes. And I say through arguing with Jensen I'm more sophisticated. The manuscript in question is called In Defense of Free Speech, the university as censor, However, following the publisher's decision, he's considering changing the title to a banned book, Free Speech and Universities. Jim Flynn says several publishers from around the globe, but not Great Britain, have approached him about publishing it. In Dunedin, The South Today.